making solution is an integral and important part of chemistry. We make different type of solutions in the laboratory for various purposes. Today, we are going to learn how to make a standard solution. Such a solution is widely used in quantitative analysis. We know that a standard solution is defined as the one whose concentration or strength is known accurately and it is prepared by dissolving an accurately weighed amount of the solute in a suitable solvent to prepare a known volume of the solution. So, our aim today will be to prepare a 100 ml of 0.05 molar solution of sodium carbonate. Let us see what all apparatus is required for the purpose. We will be needing a pipette or a dropper, a funnel, a beaker, a weighing bottle, volumetric flask, distilled water, sodium carbonate salt, spatula, a digital balance. Let us start with the first step. First and foremost, we need to know how much of salt will be required for making this solution. By simply using the formula of molarity, that is molarity is equal to mass of the solute required upon molar mass of the solute into 1000 divided by volume in milliliters would give us the amount of salt required for this purpose. Since we are preparing 0 0.05 molar solution of sodium carbonate, in place of molarity we shall substitute 1 by 20, mass of salt required we shall substitute as x, molar mass of sodium carbonate is 106, we shall substitute it and in place of volume we will be substituting 100 milliliters. On calculation we find that x comes out to be 0.53 gram for preparing this solution. Now, we will first take the digital balance initial reading. As we see it works out to be 0, that means our balance is prepared for use. Now, we place the weighing bottle on the digital balance or in absence of weighing bottle we may use a watch glass. Let us place it safely and put the cover and wait for the reading to settle. It is working out to be 5.99 grams. So, the initial reading of our weighing bottle is 5.99 gram. Now, we shall remove the bottle remove its lid and add small amount of salt required is already being taken in the weighing bottle that is 0.53 gram. The initial reading was 5.99 and after adding the salt it has become 6.52 gram. Now, we shall carefully transfer the salt into the volumetric flask.
salt may get transferred or may not get transferred. For the reason we will have to take another reading for the weighing bottle that is weight of weighing bottle after transferring the salt. I am keeping the bottle here and we shall take the reading in a short while. In the meantime we first prepare our standard solution. We will not make the volume complete at this point of time. We first need of shaking the flask well. As we can see the salt has dissolved. We can make up the volume up to the mark. The mark for 100 milliliter can be seen. We need to add water, distilled water slowly. As we reach near the mark, we have to be slightly careful for adding water. So, we will make use of a pipette or a dropper. I will take some distilled water in the beaker and pipette it. that we do not exceed the mark or we do not add excess of water. We shall now put the stopcock on the flask and shake it well, so that a uniform composition 0 0.05 molar sodium carbonate standard solution is ready for us to use.
zero and place the bottle and now check. We can see it is 5.99 exactly. That is the initial weight of a weighing bottle. That means the complete salt has been transferred to the flask and hence the molarity of the solution works out to be 0 0.05 molar. Had it not been the exact reading, we would have subtracted the final reading that is W3 from the second reading that is W2 and calculated the amount of salt being transferred and recalculated the molarity by the formula of molarity. As we have seen in our case that the reading of the weighing bottle after transferring the salt is 5.99 that means the entire salt has been transferred to the volumetric flask. Hence, the molarity of a prepared solution is 0 0.05 molar sodium carbonate solution. However, in case the reading does not match the exact value that is the weight of bottle initially and the weight of bottle after transferring the salt do not match. In that case, we can calculate the amount of salt transferred simply by subtracting the final reading that is W3 weight of bottle after transferring the salt from W2 that is weight of bottle containing the salt. After knowing the amount of salt transferred, we can calculate the molarity of the solution by using the formula of molarity. Precautions and sources of error. Do not use fingers or any other device to transfer the sodium carbonate into the flask. Let it be. You can recalculate the amount of salt transferred. Always use a pipette or a dropper to add water such that the level of solution does not cross the mark on the neck of the conical flask. I hope you will be able to prepare more standard solutions of more salts. Thank you.